Hi, I'm Lindsay, and today we are watching Furin, episode 21. Uh, we're in the 20s now. I don't want it to end. But anyways, uh, on the last episode, oh my god, so much was going on. All the different parties are fighting each other. It's getting very intense. Um, some, some of them have been defeated. Uh, I learned more about Warbell and his background, uh, his sad background. And I really ended up liking him. I think it's Werbel, Werbel, Werbel. You, I don't know. But he was fighting Ubel, and Fern continues to prove that she's just, she's just that girl by not being sensed at all by Werbel. We learn more about Ubel and Land, the guy that can make clones of himself. He doesn't really say much, but you know that's cool. Oh my gosh, there's so many people we learned about. And then uh, Denkin's party, his team is now fronting on Freerin's team, because Freerin, they, they caught the, the bird. They, yeah, so they caught the bird, and Denkin's team is about to, like, they're they're ready to fight. They're gonna fight Freerin's team. Also, Denkin knows who Freerin is, and he's gonna fight her. So, look, I'm, like, kind of in love with Denkin already. I can't even lie, but he's gonna lose, so he's gonna be embarrassed. <laughs> he is about to be embarrassed. Um... I love him though. I'm sure he'll he'll uh, he'll be fine. Like I don't think his, he would be his pride would be hurt or anything. He seems I don't know. I just have a good feeling about him. I don't think he'll win, but I I like his character quite a bit so far. But yeah, oh so much is going on. All these new names I'm trying to pronounce and learn. Some of them make sense to me pretty quick. Like Richter, uh, he can control Earth, cause earthquakes and fissures. You know stuff like that. Totally makes sense. And then there's others where I'm just like, I don't know what the frig is going on over here. But yes, uh, oh, and I saw Yubel using her mana, which is very similar to uh, Sukuna's. I have to say, I haven't, none of, uh, right now, uh, I've, what's been released on YouTube is up to episode 18. So I'm past that. So if I'm like pronouncing a name wrong or I'm not getting their mana abilities correct, um, that's why. Yubel has like a very, oh my god, I wore a Sukuna shirt too. Um, she has a very Sukuna-like technique with the slashing and stuff. It reminded me, it reminded me of him quite a bit. But yeah, I thought that was cool. But yeah, I can see why people really like her. She's scary, kind of. But yes, anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, yeah, this one is called, episode 21 is called The World of Magic. I'm always down to learn more about the magic in this world. It is very interesting. So yeah, please uh, please like, comment, subscribe. My Furin videos have been doing worse. <laughs> They've been doing worse and worse. So I would appreciate it um, if you could interact with this video at all. That's great. YouTube analytics are getting mad at me. So anything you can do is awesome. But yeah, uh, thank you for watching and let's get into this episode. Okay, quick disclaimer before starting this, uh, editing me here whole video is slightly out of focus for me. Um, it focused on my bookshelf back there and not my face. So, oops, didn't notice on the stupid little viewfinder that I was out of focus the whole time. So, my bad. Hopefully it's still enjoyable. Ah yes, the rain. It has been raining quite a bit. Oh, flashback to Flama. It's time. It's time. I can't remember if I was watching the dub last. Or the sub. There we go. Flame. Flame. Such a deep voice for someone so small. Her first time meeting Freerin. I mean, I'm, this is the first time I'm seeing them together, but kind of makes sense. Oh. Illusions. Oh no, they were there once and now she's alone. That's kind of sad. Hmm. Interesting. <gasps> I'm gonna need some explanations. <laughs> oh my god, this song is such a... This is like a summer song, honestly. This is a... Oh god, look at those trees! Look at... I want to learn how to do a background in this show, like, so bad. Those trees are so beautiful. But, um, very confusing start there. Um, Sari, she is the living grimoire, which I didn't mention in my intro, but she... They get one spell from her. There was a young flama there. Oh my gosh, we got lotus flowers. Fern and her butterfly. Oh my gosh, the uh, the girlfriends. Look at Denkin go. Is that him fighting Freerin? 
Richter. Oh, you bell so beautiful. Oh my gosh. Werbel, you're so cute. Werbel, werbel. Werbel the gerbil. Anyways, the world of magic. I'm guessing we'll get some flashbacks. All right, Duncan. Oh, you're Richter. Oh my goodness, what a show. Just had to show off. What is her deal? Do I know her name yet? I can't remember. It's been a week. Okay, Duncan. Freeran's been raising children for a while. That is interesting that you bring that up to her. That was what her love for magic was all about. Ah, she was Flama's master. Oh man, look at this. Passing down. Her voice. <gasps> Her voice is so deep. How old is she? I shall grant you just one. <gasps> so Firin's already gotten one from her? Okay. Come on, Firin, pick a good one. Uh -huh. mm. But Firin likes looking for it. Yeah, she won't. She doesn't like it the easy way. She doesn't. Yes. <laughs> oh. Look, you guys are just different. Mm. And she and she did she lie? And did she lie? No, not even. You won't. Mm. Oh my god, if she just lived in like the worst eras. Oh man, look at you, girl. Yes. Oh, she's so much life experience, so much. She's she's uh Denkin is similar to her. That is so sweet. Oh my god, these girls. I, I fear they will be destroyed. Bro, what's your problem? Can't you guys fly? No, mm, Neftir. Once again, her dress. Beautiful, perfect, gorgeous. I love it. Oh, hell yeah! Look at them working together! I love this for them. Oh, they. I'm sure they've got something going for them. Yeah, what are you doing here? Huh. It's so weird because I'm so used to not seeing like the mages specialize in something specific because of Freerun and Fern. This is very different. Oh shit. The shift to the shift to defensive magic? Zoltrak. Love how Zoltrak comes up so much. Mm. Okay. But not against other mages. Right. Okay. Too complex. Mm. I still don't like you. <laughs> um, unfortunately for him, he's also on a team with- he's against Freerin as well, sort of. Come on, Levine. You can do this. I don't know why, I just like her. Oh, it's Kana! Kane? I can't remember. Yes! Get up! Oh. Mm. So, okay, I need to see what they can do about this before I say anything. Okay, they got something. They got something here. Okay. Oh, they lied. 
Yes. He's being careful. おとなしくしてよ。たちを寝かしつけることだ。うん。電源が負けない限りはな。ああ。I'm interested in this. Okay. Look at him soaring through the air. Oh, Freeran. Use try is he you know try and use like his old track or something? Wild go oh, okay. Dow's a dork. Words. Oh fire. I'm not concerned. <laughs> okay. I mean that's very cool. Zeri. They really like to pronounce the S's as like Z's. Zeri. Not all the time, but some of the names. Someone's been analyzing the barrier. <gasps> Is it Furin? Yes! Oh shit, they don't know she's here. Or do they, and they just don't think she's that strong? Because there's different kinds of strength. Kesta- oh my god. He has so many cool spell names. Is she still just trying to exhaust his mana? Oh, she's attacking? <gasps> Denkin! Oh, it's over for you. But she admires you, so, you know. There's that. Oh no. <laughs> That's her thing. That is her thing. I feel like she she her favorite magic is all like non-violent magic. So, I don't think necessarily think she likes fighting. It's but she's her. Love. <laughs> Yes, I love her so much. She's amazing. She's just, she's got her eye on the prize, you know? That's what she's doing. Mm. But, uh, Dinkin? She's scary. It's weird seeing her, little her, just... Oh, she's gonna threaten it with his life. <gasps> yes! Oh, she'll do something. She'll do something. Dinkin's so cute. <laughs> oh, shit. <gasps> oh. <laughs> okay, that that one. Okay, Furin got the shit done. She got it done. Oh. It's not all about winning, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a political power. So why? Oh, it's probably going through something horrible right now. Look at that beautiful art. Oh, so he can't even go to his homeland? Oh, I knew I liked you for a reason. He wanted to visit a grave and he's not even allowed. I knew I liked him for a reason. Seems like he is. Ah, look at that! She's got faith. They they definitely have something going for them. Was it was it Freeran analyzing it? <gasps> Wait, if they break the barrier, then the rain. The rain. The rain will get through. And if the rain gets through, it's kind of over for anyone else with those two around. They're both that would that would be like their most powerful weapon. I don't know if they can just break the barrier, though. He is, uh, he's a little crazy. 
<sighs> I swear, no board. It's over for them. Yeah, she breaks a barrier. It's over. They can use that rain. Hell yes. Geno. It's impossible. <gasps> bitch, it's not. Look at her. World's about to turn upside down, bitch. Look at her go. They're really such a queen. <laughs> Sensei. Oh. Come on, you know who she is! You know! Yes. She had a holy emblem. I still don't know exactly what it means or where it's from. Now you've done it for Rin. Her voice is not what I expected. Yes! The world has been turned upside down. It's over! She doesn't have her weapon. Her strongest weapon would be rain or like the ocean. That's what Richter said too. Can you imagine if he made controls water? Yeah. <gasps> and she has someone who can control ice? Oh. Yes, 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 yes. The strongest thing. This is their forte. <gasps> There's water everywhere! Yes, the puddles! Hell yes! I'm so proud of them. Look at this team working together. Oh my goodness! Yes, she does have those attacks. <gasps> she just keeps him in one place. Oh shit, she is- she's crazy strong in this kind of weather. Defensive magic, but that it's- This is why I don't like water. Oh, I'm so proud of them! Oh! She just left those two to drown, pretty much. I love Denkin, though. <gasps> Pat their heads! Pat their heads, right now. Oh, they can just hide for the rest of it. Pat their heads! Yes! Oh, it's so cute! Oh, Richter, you tried. You tried! Oh my god, he's so cute. Denkin's holding onto him with his legs, damn. Oh, now the dead people. Oh. Hey, maybe they'll... They don't have any mana left. Maybe a bird will just land on their shoulder. It's totally possible. <laughs> okay. They have... Wait, who doesn't have any mana left? Those two don't, right? Okay, she doesn't have any mana left. You just keep going. You just keep going. Yeah, keep fighting until the end. You don't give up. Maybe a bird will just... Oh my god, she's so gorgeous. You're boring. Yeah? Well, she had a reason. Oh, cool. I love Fern. Right. She can use a ton. Something. Oh, the warm tea one. Oh, see you. Let's you see through clothes. <laughs> she's like, <laughs> she's like, get me out of here. Mm. That's true, Yubel could be just using her. <laughs> she's interested in him. It's a defeated part. Oh, they're just gonna take it? <gasps> My god, these people are like mourning the death of a teammate. And he's like, let's just steal the bird. You're going to steal it by force? Because then it, yeah, again, it would just look like you're giving up. What's he going to do, though? Yeah, what does he intend to do? Richter is kind of, like, scary. 
like murderous looking. Denkin, what are you gonna do? I love him. They've got nothing left. <gasps> they gonna still fight though? We're doing some hand to hand combat! Right? Oh my god, I love Denkin. I love him. I love him. He's a. This is a man. Yes! <laughs> I love him. I love him. I love him. Oh my gosh, I love Denkin so much. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're blown. Yes, he won! <laughs> okay. Good for them, I guess. I don't know. Alright, it's over. I fucking love Denkin. Six parties. Okay. Yay! Look at those two! Oh, Fearin so proud. She's so proud! Stark! Are you happy? Star, I, uh, you know what? I'm so happy to have that little cameo from him. Ah, uh, that episode was so fun. <laughs> that was such a fun episode. I'm so proud of everyone. So Sari was Flama's master, and now and then Flama was Furin's master, and now Fern is Furin's. Wait, no, Furin is Fern's master. So look at that. It's all passing down. It's so sweet. Although I think. That's where it changes with Freerun and Fern because Freerun will outlive, outlive Fern. So she'll have to take on Fern's kids or something. I'm sure if their Fern had kids, they would be probably magical prodigies as well. Uh, that was so good. I'm so proud of them, especially Levine and Kana. Kane? I, can't, I, I keep forgetting if her name's Kana or Kane. Um, I'm so proud of them. I knew, like... Something about that barrier was going to be important at some point. Of course, Furin. Of course, she could take down the barrier. She analyzed it. So they had that plan for a long time, I think. They had that plan for... Okay. I'm not sharing. Don't worry about Miss Furin. You're even more spoiled than me. You must eat your vegetables, too. It's not my birthday. Next time we'll be enemies. Oh my god, yeah. Okay, I didn't even think about that. Um, Furin and Fern are enemies now. They have to work against each other. Yo, I don't even understand how Furin would not place first in this. I mean, well, I guess there can be one more than one first class mage that comes out of this, but Furin's gonna be one of them, I would assume. Fern is also, like, she's top of the leader leaderboard for me because she's, she's only using, like, basic spells and stuff and is already so strong, plus the whole, like, suppressing your mana thing is uh pretty impressive and important here uh because like people can straight up just not detect her and that's something she's been good at since she was a kid like a little little kid like a baby pretty much so i think fern will do well um oh, uh, okay so Ka levine kane versus richter richter is a he's cold but everything he was saying about how magic was taught and the complication of defense ma the complex defense magic and how it's simple and made mostly against monsters or things with not like maybe like a specialized kind of magic um just more it's more broad and more general than than what offensive spells can be cuz offensive offensive spells can be so specific to the person that is and it's uh talking about visualization in the imagination magic is a, a, like a visualization of your imagination oh my god words and th that makes sense for how like spells can form and stuff like that um so that's interesting yeah i mean i didn't i was kind of worried about them losing i was like okay furin is there at least maybe to get their back but once furin was like no they they can handle this on their own they don't even need me i was like interesting and then when they started talking about those other two started talking about the barrier i was like 
And then someone and someone said like, and it sounded like fearing that I've finished analyzing the barrier. They just had to shatter a bit of the barrier to let rain come in. And that makes sense. That makes so much sense because then Kana can use her magic to its full potential because she was, she basically needs to be near water or around water. So of course them wanting, them bringing down the barrier is like a guaranteed win for them with her around. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. I knew that barrier and the rain, the rain. I knew the rain was gonna be important. Didn't really know how, but it makes so much sense because her powers are like at its strongest there. So I was, that was fun. Also, so yeah, I, I got like kind of started to suspect. I'm like, oh shit, she's gonna bring down the barrier. Kana's gonna use the rain and then Levine holding him still there with the ice. The puddles like forming around that she could use. Oh, that's so cool. Cause Kana can use the rain. Levine can use the puddles and turn them into ice. Oh, that is teamwork. That is such good teamwork. They really were meant to be together. Um, that is fate. They are the most fated couple in this series, I think. <laughs> I know, Furin and Himmel, okay. But these two, pretty fated to be together. But anyways, and then Denkin versus Furin. He lasted like five seconds. I love him though. I, I appreciate that he seems so cold and everyone's like you have everything you have wealth you have power blah 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 and he was like well i want to be a first class mage to go see to go to my homeland and see a grave i haven't seen in a long time but i can't now because it's so far north and you have to be a first class mage and it's like it's such a like simple reason and it's so oh, it makes me love him so much more because he's not just a cold character he he actually has like Oh, I don't know. I just really like him. I just really like Duncan. I think it might be one of my favorites, <laughs> at least in this arc. He's definitely my favorite in this arc so far. I just really like him. Oh, he's so cool. And at the end, he's just like, he's not like shady. It doesn't, well, maybe when they kind of snuck up on Freer in that first time, um, that was a little shady, but that was um, just to start the battle. And then afterwards, it wasn't. And I appreciate that no matter what he's like we're not we're, we might lose but we're not gonna let us we're not gonna let it happen we're not gonna just like let ourselves lose we could give up and we could just sit here and wait and blah 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 but we are not gonna do that we don't give up and i respect that for him a lot and how he's just like you know what i'm gonna i gotta win this and look this team over here they're sad because one of their members died but Bitch, I have to win, and we have to win. I'm gonna face them head on, settle this shit with our fists. I mean, come on, like, he is so cool. That is awesome. I'm a big fan of Denkin. I love how he just fights them head on too. Like, they were ready to fight, and he was just like, we're gonna settle it with our fists. <sighs> he is so great. And so now they are done the test. Um, eight parties or something like six parties i don't remember but 18 individuals well so that'd be six parties right um so 18 individuals have now passed to the second test and now they are all going to be working against each other oh my god i'm so excited i'm gonna have to watch another episode today but yeah i'm i'm excited to see that fern and Freerin are not working together. They are not working. I'm sure Freerin would want to help Fern out anyways, but like, they gotta be enemies. That's just how it is. Like, that's what the name of the next episode is too, right? Like, now we're enemies or something. So, yikes. But yeah, I really, that was a, f oh, this arc is so fun. I like the flashbacks with everyone, but like, Ooh, I love learning all, a lot about these new characters and what they can do. And also puts into perspective of how strong Freerin is too. Um, how quick she's able to end things and how smart she is and able to analyze plans and her belief in people. Really, really cool. I, ugh, I love her so much. But yeah, anyways, that's pretty much all I have to say for this episode, I think. Uh, I just want to keep watching. I like like these end of the episodes little discussions, but I'm like, I want to watch the next episode like immediately. But I, uh, I really want to learn how to paint some of these backgrounds. I might make a video on that someday because I've been like 
looking at them a lot and I think I, I understand it. I just wish that there was like an art book or something that got maybe one day there will be an art book on the anime because I would love to I would buy it in a heartbeat. I want to I want to see these backgrounds and stuff. Yeah, I would love to see a process of how they do them. But yeah, anyways, that's all I have to say. Um <laughs> tangent. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Interact. I answer almost every comment or I like almost every comment, so I try my best. But yes, I would appreciate that. Have a good day. And I'm going to watch episode 22 now or 21. I don't know. 21? Maybe. No. 22. I don't know. Okay. I'm watching one of those episodes. Thank you for watching <laughs> and bye.